What is the college store of 2015? Is it a physical place? Is it online? Or is it in the palm of your hand? On a cell phone? When you think 2015, the answer is simple. Portability and accessibility are key in the fast-paced future. And with the rise of smartphones on the market, there's no reason the bookstore can't get up and run with you. When Nax awarded us the College Store of 2015 grant, we knew just where to start. On our website, students are able to look up and purchase their textbooks according to their term, department, course, and section. That functionality is key for student independence, allowing them to look up their books on their own, get all relevant information, and even get a picture of the cover. Our app duplicates that functionality, querying our database for the same information that the website does, keeping it up to date on terms, courses, and books without any extra effort entering and changing information by hand. All relevant information can be found on the book detail pages. Once the book search was finished, we set up a demonstration event. Our booth featured a Motorola Droid 2 smartphone with the app loaded onto it, a demo video playing on a laptop, surveys to fill out about smartphones and apps, and free pizza incentive. We had a camera running during the event to capture student reactions. We can, we can show you how to search for that's, books. That's, uh, oh, really? Yes. Yeah. yeah, you've got to schedule with me, matter of fact. All right, pull it out. There's your book. Oh, check that out. Go ahead and give it a click. It'll give you the extended info. Oh, check that. Okay. And there's the cover. So you can go right to the, right to the uh, case. It's got all the covers, so you can go look for them on the shelves. Yeah, I see. They even tell you, like, how much it costs, if it, how much this would have used price and everything. That's good. Does this show prices or anything on it? Yep. Search for your book, and you'll find both the new and the used price, and a cover, a picture of the cover if we have it. Oh, my God. Uh, put advertising on, like for the school, like events that we have happening on the school. So you can promote like the more stuff for the school, like concerts or something like that. What do you think? Pretty, uh, pretty easy. I don't know. Uh, maybe announce like when the 10 percent sales and things like that. Okay. We can do that. Yeah, it gives you the use price too. Just like a database front end, it just pulls from the Yep, right now it's just pulling straight from the website, so it's as up to date as the website is. Find your book? Oh, I Go ahead and check it out. Well, you search by class. I gotta get this on my phone now. Bye now. I gotta get this on my phone. <laughs> That's hard. Alright, try me next. Alright, because you got it. This is all up to date, so. It's as up to date as our website. Oh. Pulls all the information straight from it. Yay. Ooh, then it's on here. Hold on, give me this. <laughs> you said how much you're booking? God. Jeez. <laughs> well, um, here you go, you can have it. Um, Buy back. Buy back? See how much they, the books are buying back. But I know All right. the price varies. So. With the time remaining, we did our best to add in as many student suggestions as we could. We added an hour of operations calendar that displayed all normal, extended, and holiday hours for each of our campuses, sorted by month. 
In addition, we added a function that would display all important dates and special events, as well as give them the option to add each event straight to their Google Calendar. Simple information on each location came next, along with the auto-dialer feature for the phone numbers and access to the maps and navigation apps for addresses. Using the phone's built-in GPS unit, our app would supply these native Android applications with the data necessary to calculate driving directions to any of our campus locations. With our deadline approaching, we wrapped up what we had, did some bug testing and refinement, and set out to publish our app on the Android market. As a final addition, we added a feedback form that would send us emails with comments, suggestions, and any bug reports that may come from students using the app. Where do we go from here? Well, we have a few suggestions. Let me know when you get the shopping cart and then on it. Can we order it from the phone? Not yet. We're working on that. We have the ability to purchase. Um, we are seeing if we can't get a shopping cart going with that. Okay. Yeah, that'd be the only thing I'd recommend because that'd be so easy if you just purchase it and have them waiting for you at the bookstore. Yeah. So this one, they can find. All right, fine. But they can't do anything they with it other than. They can't purchase yet or anything. They say no what they need. We don't have a shopping cart yet, we're working on that for a future release. What we've done is just the start, but it's an important first step. As mobile devices get more sophisticated, so will the AACC Bookstore app. 2015 is only a few years away, but this is a plan for the future. Younger and younger, children are growing up with cell phones in their hands. And when they're ready for college, we'll be there.